Hey y'all, I am back and I have more scary TikToks that I'm really nervous to watch today. I know my hair looks a little crazy. I'm gonna go on a whole rant at the end of the video about my hair, if you would like to stay for that. But we're gonna hop right into the TikToks. Put in my fancy AirPods. I was literally trying to put them in the wrong ear, so if you noticed that, no you didn't. I don't know why, but my phone won't automatically connect to my AirPods anymore. Is that like a common thing? Like, I don't know what's going on. Scoot my whole chair over and we begin. If you're in Utah, don't go to Mary Lake Highway. It's literally cursed. As some of you know, I used to pick up dead bodies for the medical examiner. And while we were doing that, we went all over Utah, saw all kinds of crazy things. But every time we had a pickup in Mary Lake Highway, like there was this one time we had a pickup and it was in the middle of this huge rainstorm. And so we had the truck and we go up Mary Lake Highway and the, it's like a full moon, but it's also raining and windy. We find the address, we pull in, instantly truck dies. Dead, we can't get it to start. We were trying to get the truck to start, the cops were trying to get the truck to start, we couldn't even figure out what was wrong with it. So we leave one person at the truck to try and fix it and then we get the gurney and we go to pick up the body. Turns out it's this little old grandma and she lives in this huge house in the middle of the forest alone with her granddaughter. We get her in the body bag, we get her on the gurney, we're about to put the gurney in the truck and the granddaughter says can i have a moment with my grandma can i say goodbye and we were like yeah of course so she like bends over the cot cover which i do not recommend touching they don't get washed enough and she starts crying and this is this is normal this is something we have to deal with all the time but as she's crying suddenly the wind picks up like crazy it covers the moon it gets really dark all of a sudden there's lightning the wolves start howling from the woods and they're very close and me and my partner are looking at each other and the cop stops trying to like start the truck because he's getting skeeved out. The vibe is weird. And then the granddaughter says her goodbyes and she stands up and she says, okay, you can take her. And as soon as she says that, the wind stops, the moon comes back out, the wolves stop going, and the truck starts immediately. And we're like, mm, mm, mm. We've also gotten followed multiple times by like this really gross old jeepers creepers looking rv with all its lights off and it'll like follow us ridiculously like it's don't go don't go to mary lake highway it's the bad it's the bad place don't go there i'm just curious did this girl who was saying goodbye to her grandmother even notice the atmosphere completely changing because it doesn't seem like she did if i bent down to like say goodbye to my deceased grandmother and all this shit started happening around me like it got really dark and the wolves are howling and all this shit I'd be a little freaked out. Be a little freaked out. But I don't think she noticed. But maybe she was too sad to notice. I don't know. Someone please tell me they know this lady. It was August 6, 2021 for 40 m on Highway 897. Just a few kilometers from Rio Beach in Alberta, Canada. She was wearing an all-white haunted ass looking 50s era dress and hairdo. She was alone. We even turned around to do a double take to make sure we weren't seeing things. She's been haunting us ever since. If I? Okay, oh my god. If there has ever been one instance in my life where I was sure something was a ghost, it is this moment right now. That reminds me a lot of the woman at White Rock Lake in Texas. I did a Ouija board session there a very long time ago. I don't do the Ouija board anymore, but we did a Ouija board there and it was a story of this lady who had drowned in the lake. It's a long story, I'm not gonna go into it. If you watch that video, I think I'd tell the whole lore. I don't, know, I don't fucking know what else to call it besides lore, but that looks like her. It looks like her. This was in Canada, I think, but that looks like the lady at White Rock Lake. And I feel like that's a very common like ghost story to hear is like someone who drowned in a lake and they haunt the lake, whatever. But that was a ghost. Oh yes, it was a ghost. Hit him, hit him. No, 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 no. Oh shit. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Yeah, we should go. I wanted to be a jump scare. I'm scared. Shit, oh shit, God. shit, 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 shit. What? No, 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 no. Come on, come with me, come with me. 
stick right behind me. The screen turned black. I didn't know if it was still going or what was happening. There might be more than my phone just like turned black. I don't know, but that's really weird. I don't like that. If there's like more when I'm editing this and it's not just a black screen, that's gonna freak me out because why did my screen turn black? But if it's a black screen while I'm editing it, I'm just gonna pretend it's part of the video because I can't handle that. Didn't like that. Didn't like that. I felt like I couldn't breathe. I felt like I couldn't breathe. Can I show you a scary video? No, because this one's so uncomfortable to watch. It comes all the way from Brazil and it actually went viral. In the video, it basically shows a doll sitting on top of a grave, but the doll's eyes move. And they don't just move, the eyes actually follow you. So take this as a challenge and try to watch the whole video without looking away. Oh God, Here's the video. I'm not good at that. I'm not gonna away. Oh, 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 that is not what I was expecting. It's over, it's over. I, that was the hardest thing to watch because it was very ugly, it was very ugly. But like, that is weird. And when it's eye was like completely to the side, how do you explain that? How do you explain it? I don't like these videos. I can film whenever I want now, so I'm filming this very late at night and that was a horrible idea. I don't know who I think I am. There's two of them across the creek at the big rocks. Read, uh, you have to read what the thing says. Let 
me just start off by saying that Gnar scared the absolute living shit out of me. I'm like reading about this creature who's eight feet tall and bigger than a man. I don't fuck, I don't know. And I look down and my cat is just sitting there menacingly. Like what? Of like the worst timing ever? I literally jumped so bad. Like my heart skipped a beat. But if you guys were reading it, basically it said it was like some giant creature and the, the footage was not pre-recorded. It was sent to some lab, but like the oogity boogities, it was doing some like oogity boogity shit at the end there. And I just, mm, it was an SW. It was 100% an SW. If you don't know what that is, it's like a, what a, a flesh pedestrian. That's what people were telling me to call it. But is that still bad? Is it still gonna come for me if I say that? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Well, there's certainly no shortage of the pheasant back mushrooms out here. You can see, here's one, and then one over here. They look really nice. And then um, just looking just... around here in the distance. That tree has a bunch. And then this log over here has a bunch. Take a walk over there. These look pretty big. Yeah, this how big that one is down there. It's got to be about 12 inches across. And this one looks like it has a bite out of it. <laughs> and this one. And uh, there's one over here. Looks like it's holding some water. I'm weirdly calm. Huh? I think it's time to go. I think so too. I was gonna say I'm weirdly calm because he's just talking about mushrooms. I knew there was a scream coming, obviously, because it said so, but I was calm because it was just mushroom talk for a while, but it sounded like, I don't know, it kind of sounded like an animal a little bit, but I don't know, that's just me. That's my professional opinion is that it kind of sound, sounded like an animal. saw it tell me you tell me you see that i'm not gonna watch it again because it plays it twice so if you you didn't see it just like rewind the video tell me you see that it kind of looks like a spider crawling behind him a giant spider but it kind of it's like it crawls behind him the fire department burned this house down because it was too haunted watch the dark spirits escape we never wanted to live in this house Okay, we're watching that one again, and I was I was gonna try not to play any of these twice because sometimes I feel like it's unnecessary. But the I want to watch it. Fire department burned this house down because it was too haunted. Watch the dark spirits escape. We never wanted to live in this house. But where are they gonna go? Where are they gonna go now? Hmm? You're releasing them into the world to find a new place to haunt. Spirits, if you're here, we know you're here. Can you finish this sentence for me? Our Father, who art in heaven. I feel like I wasn't supposed to watch that. I feel like I'm going to be haunted by Annabelle after watching that. You can hear her whisper, or it whisper. I don't know what it is, the, the, the devil. You can hear a whisper. And I don't like that. I don't like that. I hate whoever tagged me in that one because that makes me feel unsafe. Like, am I okay? Am I gonna be okay? That I don't like, I hate Annabelle. Annabelle freaks me out. Like genuinely freaks me out. Everything freaks me out. But like Annabelle, no. Also, sorry my hands are literally translucent. I'm trying to like hide them because I definitely put on makeup that was way too dark for me today because you know, I'm ugly when I'm not tannish. So my hands are like translucent, but we're going to ignore it. We're going to. Walk down your stairs with the inverted filter. I'm gonna show y'all because my legs look backwards as heck. All right, so this is with inverted off. Bro, this is inverted on. This is the same direction. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh, my staircase, oh, the staircase is leading me to the, oh, well, I don't even know how to record this, bro, bro, I can't, I can't do this. 
Did did you not see it when you were filming? When you were trying to walk down the did you? Then they didn't even react to this person crawling up their stairs. I don't like that one. We're not watching that again. Cause that's, I really don't like these. A lot of these are like possession things. I feel like, and it's not sitting right with me. I feel like I'm gonna get possessed. Uh, hi, Gertrude. Oh. Yeah. So nice to meet you. I did not uh, want to watch this one. Yeah, I'm Parker. This is Chester. Aren't you gonna let me in? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, please come yeah. in. Please. Watch yourself on the stairs. So, uh, you're uh, a lot taller than we expected. It's nice to finally meet you. Aren't you gonna oh give my me God. a kiss? Oh. You gonna kiss her or what, bro? I'm not really comfortable kissing right now. So Gertrude, if you don't mind, uh, do you mind sitting down so I can uh, interview you and Chester? Yeah, sure. Okay. Wow, you're uh, a lot taller than Chester. That's right, I like tall women. What the fuck? So Gertrude, thanks for sitting down. Can you explain to me what it is you are doing on the dark web? I'm looking to find a husband. I don't like this. I really don't like this one. So you don't find anything weird with marrying a guy that you've never even met before? <sighs> uh, I'm kind of nervous. I've never really been in a relationship before. Relax. Just give me a kiss. Uh, Gertrude, do you mind if Chester and I talk for a second? Just wait right there, please. Okay, uh, come here. Let's talk. Dude, she's not acting like how she did online. Do you want me to ask her to leave? Well, let's just see if she wants to spend the night first. Why do you want her to spend the night, dude? She's really weird. Okay, whatever. Let's go tell her then. Hey, uh, what's she doing? Gertrude. Hi. Um, yeah, we just talked for a little bit. Uh, Chester says he wants you to spend the night. I assume she's gonna be your wife, apparently, so she's gonna be staying in your room? Uh, can she stay on the couch? I mean, bro, she's supposed to be your wife. I guess I could sleep on the floor. Okay, let's, let's Isn't go. Is this wearing stilts? Like, I, okay, I, is that a YouTube video? Like, I, I think it's a YouTube video that somebody put on TikTok. There's no way it's real. There's absolutely no way that that is real. I don't believe it, nor. I'm busy. There's no way it's real. And if it is, I am deeply disturbed. Like deeply, deeply, deeply disturbed. Like I know it's fake and I'm still really disturbed. Like that was weird. And why was she walking like that? Like it seemed like she had stilts on. Does she have stilts on? <laughs> okay, that took me a second. That took me a second. Took me a second to see it, but that is very clearly a ghost, very clearly. And I believe you, I believe you 100%. I'm gonna scoot back over. That is all I have for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had one more, but it was kind of like a TTS thing where they were just reading off scary stories and it was like three minutes long, so I decided not to include it. If you guys find any other scary TikToks that you want me to watch or react to, please tag me in them on TikTok. Don't send it to me on social media because I typically forget about them and I don't put them in videos. So if you can tag me on TikTok, please do that. I always have my TikTok linked down below. I don't know if it's because it's really late at night or what, but these really freak me out. Like, I don't want to go, I, like, I'm by myself. I'm by myself and I don't want to go to bed. I don't ever want to go to bed ever again because of these videos. I really don't want to, but I hope you guys enjoyed. That lot, like the one with the dark web wife lady is like imprinted into my brain right now. Like her being like, okay. It's just like stuck in my head. I don't know why, but I'm gonna go. I love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Now we're gonna talk about my hair and we're gonna try to distract myself from all the creepiness that just happened. So this is my natural hair. I'm gonna release the beast. Cause I had it, oh shit. I had half of it in like a claw clip. This is, okay, you guys, I cannot, I cannot. This is my natural hair and it's, well, it's really crunchy because of the product I used, I think. Um. I posted on Instagram and asked you guys for like product recommendations and all that stuff because I 
Okay, I go through phases where I like want to wear my natural hair all the time and I don't want to have to style my hair anymore or I don't like I don't want to have to straighten my hair anymore. And so I'm gonna try doing this again with my natural hair, but I if it if this is how it's gonna look, I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna do it. It's weird because the top is like it's sorry, it's really crunchy. The top is kind of straight because my hair is damaged obviously from bleaching it, but the underneath is a lot wavier i don't want to say curly because it's not quite curly but the underneath is like wavier than the top is which i think i don't know what that i don't know why because i think the bottom of my hair is more damaged than the top of my hair honestly but i don't know but i'm trying to wear my natural hair so if you guys have product recommendations or like videos that can show me how to like wear my natural hair please tag me in them or not tag me in them but like put them in the comments i typically don't read comments but i'll probably read them on this video because i'm asking for advice so i kind of have to read the comments i just don't like the way that it looks and it's really frizzy like it's really really frizzy i have naturally really frizzy hair so i'm not like surprised that it's frizzy even like even when i don't put any product well obviously when i don't put any product but i feel like it's frizzier like the products I used and like leaving it like this, it looks frizzier than it normally would. Cause if I let my hair just air dry with no product and like brushing my hair, it's really poofy and it's not like wavy or anything. It's just really poofy and like pretty much straight. But I put, I, I've used Diva Curl, which everyone's like, no, don't use that. I use Diva Curl, which I'm gonna throw away cause everyone said don't, but it's all I had. So I used Diva Curl. I think that's what made it crunchy. And I don't like, I don't want it to be crunchy, but it didn't really do much. It just like made it look like ramen. I'm gonna take out my earbuds. So yeah, basically just like any advice you guys have for wearing my hair natural, wearing my hair wavy, anything like that, please let me know. Right now, it's not it. It's not it. Also, the bangs are kind of growing on me. If you didn't watch my last video, I cut my bangs, obviously. They're kind of growing on me. I kind of like it with the wavy hair. I didn't like it when my hair was straight. I was like, oh my God, it looks stupid. But with my hair like with texture in it, it looks a little bit better. But okay, that was, that was it. I just wanted to rant about my hair. I don't know why. Okay, I love you so much. See ya.